Hello, my name is Jörg and I would like to show you a short video of our wood chip fired power plant. This is our company, the Bioenergy Wächtersbach. In this area, here is the storage of the wood chips. These chips are from different sources. We get chips directly from the forest, where thin trees, branches and treetops are directly processed into chips. Another source for our biomass fuel are wood chips from landscape conversation. This is material during the pruning of trees by roadside vegetation from municipal or private parks and gardens. Citizens and business have also the opportunity to bring branches and parts of trees directly through us, where we'll process the biomass with the help of a higher attacker into wood chips within a couple of weeks. This is our large wheel loader. With this machine, we fill up the fuel bunker from which the system automatically takes out the chips. In the winter times, we need about 240 cubic meters of wood chips per day. Calculated over the whole year, we consume about 60,000 cubic meters. In the bunker, an automatic moving floor is installed, pulling the wood chips into an inlet shaft. In this shaft, a hydraulic piston pushes the wood chips with a pressure of about 70 ton into the actual furnace. The cross free section in this shaft is so large that even pieces, large pieces of wood can be pushed into the furnace without any problems. We now go to the power plant and start our wizard in the control room. Here are the process control computers which control and regulate the individual processes of the plant. On this map you can see the municipality of Wächtersbach. Here is our power plant. The blue lines are the existing, the existing network pipes. We have built a total of 16 kilometers of district heating pipes and we are connected 350 customers. A customer can be a small family house or a large industrial company. The smallest customer takes away a power of 15 kilowatts, the biggest one roughly 1000 kilowatts. In every street where we erect our district heating pipes, we can connect between 60 and partially over 19% of the buildings. The district the district heat is very cost effective. The customers do not have to make a unique investment because it's already included in the price of the district heat. On this screen, the central processes are visualized. With the, com with the combustion of the biomass, we heat a special thermo oil up to 210 degrees. This oil is then pumped into the power plant where a second special oil is vaporized which drives the turbine with a high pressure. With the help of a generator, electricity is gained. Both oils are completely closed circuits. They aren't cons consumed at all. The plant is manned during the day on workdays. Possible failures, respectively system values going out of their optimum or accepted range during the night or on the weekends causes automatically notification on the responsible plant operator at their home. Here you can see the insertion of the chips. They are pulled through an automatic moving floor in our direction and then pressed by the hydraulic stoker from the left to the right into the oven. Here you can see the actual fire compartment in which the chips move slowly from top left to the bottom right on a moving staircase like range combustion gate. Via the oven door you can look into the fire. 
but you will only see the front edge. The fire extends, they are still 6 meter backwards. Once a year there is a large maintenance operation for a whole week. After that we have to reignite the fire handily like a campfire and then the chips are slowly supplied with the, sto with the stoker. During the maintenance time a large oil fired boiler with 6 megawatt generates the heat which is required. This boiler also works to support the district heating network on extremely cold days. At the end of the grate the chips fall into the basement since we can burn only completely untreated natural wood the ash contains no pollutants. It consists, it consists of valuable minerals such as lime, potassium and calcium and therefore it's used as raw material for fertilization in agriculture. In this area, the large ORC plant is generating electricity with the heat usage of the hot oil flow. Like any other combined heat and power process, the smaller part of the engine comes in form from electricity, which an efficiency of roughly 21%. The greater part is produced in the form of hot water as heat energy with about 79%. The hot water is pumped with about 85 degrees Celsius through our distant heating network. Here are the three pumps which deliver the hot water through the distant heating network to the customers and back again. In one hour nearly 280 cubic meters of hot water are circulated. Each customer has got a simple district heating transfer station including a buffer storage tank which controls the heat output for the building. Here we can see an overview of the entire system. At the bottom the fire compartment in which the wood chips are burned. At the top the cylindrical vessel located with the thermo oil, where the thermo oil is heated. In the back of the system there is an air preheater in order to preheat the combustion air with the hot exhaust gases as well as a pre-filter which filters the coarse dust out of the exhaust gas. Now we are going outside behind our power plant. Behind our power plant is the large electrostatic recipiator filter. With the help of high voltage, the remaining fine dust can be extracted from the flue gas completely. Our system is strictly monitored and all waste gas parameters are continu continuously recorded and transmitted to the authority. We are now on the roof of the power station and you can see our two chimneys. The one from the wood boiler and the one from the oil boiler. As you can see, you see nothing. A visible plum of smoke, dust or similar things cannot be seen, even we stand very close next to the chimney.
When it's cold, you will only see a plum of steam because the water contained in the chips evaporates and can pass out of the system only through the chimney. Finally, a look at our yard where we store the wood chips. In the neighborhood, currently, there is a trade fair. Again, a small swing over Wächtersbach. Approximately two thirds of the city are yet connected to the district heating network. In the very far back, there are more houses in this area public swimming pool is located. We already laid a district heating pipeline with a length of, all, of uh, over four kilometers through our local swimming pool. Our system has been running very well for six years. Our customers enjoy low cost, climate friendly energy and the shareholders are happy about the company. We have been saving the most 50,000 tons of greenhouse gas CO2. The annual turnover of 3 million remain in our city and our region and bring work for many companies in our region and also revenue for the forest owners. Thank you for your interest in our video.